Hey, Steb here. Today I want to show how I fix cuts, blemishes, and mistakes in a few minutes. I use super glue to fill in imperfections. It dries super fast, sands well, and it's easy to apply as long as it's used correctly. Before anything else, let me advise against applying the nozzle directly to the parts. And that's because it's harder to control how much you're applying this way and super glue dries much slower when too much of it is applied. And if I'm not careful, I could end up running glue in molds and panel lines, which would be a huge pain in the butt to fix. So let's find a tray to use. I prefer plastic as a material so that the glue won't leak through the bottom. This time I'm using the plastic from my packet of sanding sticks that I bought. I've even used top loaders for my Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I like using paper clips to apply the glue since it's super thin and lets me work accurately. I try not to apply it too thick, but just enough to fill in the scratch. That way it dries faster and there's less glue to sand off later. And this piece I cut a little too close when snipping the nub away. If I sand it enough, it might be fine, but just to be safe, let's fill this in too. So it's been a couple of minutes and the glue's dry. But if we take a look at the other piece from earlier... Yeah, not even close. Now that the glue is dried, let's sand it off. Depending on the situation, I like to start off with either 240 or 400 grit sandpaper to sand the glue away, and work my way up to 1000 grit. I can feel now that the cut's been completely filled in, which means I can move on. And just as a check, I'm going to spray over the pieces to see if they're good. It looks good. The first coat of paint makes imperfections really apparent. What if I notice that it's not completely filled in, or I missed a spot? I just repeat the same steps. Apply glue and sand again until it's good. Some people might ask, why not use putty? Well, for me, the fast dry time and ease of usage is what sells it for me. Generally, putty takes much longer to dry and I think super glue is sufficient enough to fill in most scratches and blemishes. So that was my brief showing of how I fix common blemishes and cuts on my kits. I hope that this helped and uh, I hope I can see you next time. Bye.